and we're going to do a tegatana dorsa, which are hand raised movements. Okay, so these are cutting movements using the shape of your tegatana arm, which is your sword arm. And the shape of the tegatana is this. Okay, so our right hand, fingers pretty close together, thumb open, uh, fingers pointing up, not forward. So you bend your wrist that way. Shape of your arm is like the shape of a Japanese sword, curved, slightly curved. So we call it tegatana, hand sword or arm sword. Okay, and we do tegatana practice at the beginning of each class. Uh, so I'll do it sideways on. You can watch you cut forward. Okay, so by the left hand, so above your head and crank forward. Each dropping down, knee pushing forward. Sun, chi, right hand, go, rock, chi, back to move the feet. Left hand, same again. Each knee, sun, chi, right hand, go, rock, chi. Actually, next one. Left hand above your head is going to come circle from the right side to the left side of the temple of your partner, of the opponent, knee. Other side, Sam, she so circles around. She, uh, first few times you do these, a bit confusing, then you get the routine. She, uh, third one, moving this way, spearing forward, left hand, then the palm comes down, palm up, pushing away, right hand. Good, she, touch. So the feet are doing the same thing with the first three each time, sliding forward and sliding back. Okay, fourth one, left hand palm up, right foot forward. Palm down, turn 180 degrees down, palm up, turn 180 degrees back. Now left foot, right hand, palm down, turn 180 degrees, palm up, turn back. Okay, left hand one, left hand right foot, palm down, turn, palm up, turn. Left foot, right hand, palm down, turn, palm up, turn. Okay, last one, left hand above your head, right foot, same as the previous one with the feet, turn, cut forward, step back. Right hand, left foot, turn, cut forward, step back. Now you drop back off the line with your left hand coming to your right hip above your head, cut forward, right hand to your left hip, above your head, cut forward, and step forward. So that last one again, left hand, right foot, turn, cut, drop down, right foot, left hand, turn, cut forward, step back, drop back off the line, come forward, drop back off the line. Okay, we're going to spend a little time, just a minute or so, looking at turning. Okay, I'm just going to bring this lens down a bit so you can see my feet. Doesn't matter so much about the feet, <laughs> the head. So what we're going to do is we're going to stand in left posture. So stand in left posture. Okay, and what you can do is you're going to lift your heel of your front foot, just marginally off the ground, and you're going to start turning it in. The, so your left foot forward, you're going to start turning clockwise. Yeah. So you start spinning your left heel clockwise. As you do that, your right back heel is going to start lifting and you're going to turn. So you lift, lift your front heel first, then you leave your back, back heel and you turn all the way around. And now your right foot is facing forward and your weight has gone onto your right knee. Okay, now you lift your front heel and start. So the spin is done. If I just go a bit, just get really close. You don't really want to close up with my gnarly feet, but there you go. Okay, so left foot's forward. Okay, I lift the heel. I spin, I spin. So the heels lift. Just practice that. So you're not really, you're, not, you're just spinning your feet uh, on the balls of your feet. And the front foot turns, when you're facing this way, left foot, my front foot, I can't turn my back foot first. So I lift my front foot, turn, then as I go, as I turn around, it goes. So now my right foot is my front foot. So I lift that heel first. So you just spin. And when you do it, now get your posture turning all the way around as well. So when you turn, your posture is now facing completely the other way and now turn here in your posture so if i do it further away from you now oh, it's a very important thing to uh be able to coordinate uh for this turn so uh, if i do it slowly right uh, facing right so my left my right heel lifts then i start turning my foot and then my left heel lifts there's a slight lag from one to the other so it's not completely the same it's like one two one two so the front foot lifts, then the quickly the back foot lifts. Now if I do it quickly, front foot turning, back foot follows. Change. Change. And you can see my weight transfers from my left knee to my right knee. So you see the weight goes forward. Okay? Don't underestimate that. <laughs> you go, what's the need of that? Well, there's loads of reasons why you need that. One of them is this, doing that movement. So if someone attacks you from behind, you can turn and get your posture right. So if someone attacks you from behind, I can turn and get my posture right. And so, so I'm here, come comes, turn, 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 turn. 
So really quick. And I'm an old man, so you can definitely agree with me. Okay, good. What we're going to do now is, um, having done this, Tony, we're going to step forward, right foot, and turn. Okay, so the movement is, I'll do it the same way as you. Uh, so I'm left foot forward, I'm going to step forward, and I'll turn. Okay, so stepping forward, and I'm turning and forward. And my front foot turns after I get to here. So it doesn't turn right at the beginning. So it turns after my right foot's come through the lock, through the halfway through. Okay, so I'm standing here. Now what's happening? I'm standing here. Someone comes to attack me from behind, maybe grab me. Okay, I turn. And what I do is I'm turning. If they're going to grab my collar or my hair or my head or shoulder or something, if they're going to grab my shoulder, I do this motion. Okay, so what I'm doing is they're going to grab me. My left hand's coming up to my left ear. Okay, that kind of movement. So someone goes to grab my grab my left shoulder or grab my back, and I'm turning and I'm moving away. You see the distance I'm going is I'm not just turning on the spot now, I'm actually going through and going back. And my left hand is, is doing a sort of just a movement like that. And what it's doing is obviously if I'm if I'm facing you, um, someone's coming to grab me from behind. I'm blocking here. So if you're coming to grab me here, I'm blocking you. Okay. Right, so let's try that. So blocking. Okay. What's happening there? I imagine they're probably because they're grabbing me here, I'm grabbing, I imagine they're grabbing me with their right arm. Okay, so they grab my right with their right arm. Okay, so what's that done now? Is their right arm there now pushed over? I immediately then just come through and throw. Okay, so here, throw. And the throw is, uh, Jacob Gamayate, this one here, that we do at the beginning of the class, where you go, what, why are we doing this? We're doing this because it comes to someone's temple. I was talking about the temple throw. Um, I'm sorry, you get exotic. Uh, temple templates in the side of your head. Um, someone's head is here. You get them on the side of the head and you throw. If I do it, if I put it here, this is, this is someone's head. Looks like a book. Put it here. If I see what I'm doing, pushing it to the side. If I push it to the side, let's tip them over, their bodies down there, and then I move forward. Okay, so the power of my body movement is throwing them. So that's what we're doing here. Okay, uh, I step forward, I block, and then I throw. I step forward, I spin, so using that spinning motion, blocking, so blocking this way, then come to their temple. And then you sort of spin. Spin, move back, and throw. Spin, move back, and throw. So you're going first right foot going through, turning, so your left foot forward now, now you drive through with your left foot. Okay, so the same would apply the other way. You step through, someone's coming behind you, you move this arm, and throw. So now we're doing it right foot forward, step the left foot through, and just do the spin. Well, one important point is when I move back, I've talked about this a few, quite a few times before. I find I'll do it facing this way. I need to bring this foot like that. Okay, I don't want to leave it behind. So practice that left foot coming through, blocking the cross, strike. So the strike is a here comes to the head and drive in. Laughing, throwing. Okay. So we're just doing that as a way of uh, practicing this movement. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll do this movement. In uh, traditional Aikido, they do this quite a lot. So some people who've done traditional Aikido might recognize this. I'm in right posture, I'm stepping forward with my left foot, and I'm spinning, just sliding back. Okay, so when I step forward one. Try and do it. Okay, now you can off this. <laughs> okay. As you do it, you're going to, arms are coming up. So 
right posture, arms just by your body. Your body, your uh, right posture, your body is facing towards the left side. Your hands are back. You're going to do this motion with your hands, coming across the front of your body. As you do that, you're going to step forward with your left foot, keep your arms spinning till they come down here. Now you're going to go back up with your arms the way they came. Step forward with your back foot. They keep spinning around and they come to your left side. Now slide your foot forward as you do this. Slide your front foot forward, bring the arms up. As you reach the sort of apex, step forward and back. So the feet are going one, two, one, two, one, two. Now with the hands going with them, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. So we're practicing this turning motion with the feet and bringing the knees underneath us. If I do it sideways onto you, I'm left foot forward now. I'll bring my arms up. Should I just move something off the screen that's getting can't see what I'm up to. That's better. Okay. So I'm doing that movement coming up from I'm um, um, left foot forward. Now I'm right foot forward. Left foot forward. Right foot forward. Obviously, you can go along further if you've got a lot more room. Keep going. Nice and smooth. This is almost like a meditation, a moving meditation. So you have to imagine your centre, which <laughs> you have to imagine. Your centre is there, whether you imagine it or not. So your centre is down here, so sort of just below your belly button. So your movement is done from down here. Now you can go further. Don't jump up, just stay low. And don't forget to pull your front foot underneath so you've got your knee over your toe at the end. Okay. We can add something to this. This is all in traditional Aikido. We don't really do this in the Shotokan. I do? No, I haven't really seen it, but it's a traditional movement. Now we're gonna do the same movement. One. Two, and we do an extra step back. So we take the left leg back now. So we go, now we go, left foot comes forward, right go, foot goes back, then you step back again. So it's one, two, three. 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 I'll slow it down. Uh, I'll face the same way as you. So we're, we're right foot forward. Arms come up, left foot steps. Keep circling. Come down, bring your right foot behind you. Now take one more step back with your left leg going back and change your hands around. So now you're in right front posture. Hands start coming up, stepping forward with your left foot. Keep spinning. Right foot comes behind you. Now step back with your left foot. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. There you go. It's good exercise to do, actually. That it's really good for your stability. It's really good for understanding your centre because it all, you know, it all happens down here. So. The movement and it's also technique i mean it doesn't look like technique but in the end it's you you know someone comes up to you you block their arm you take their head down and then you throw so it's done or you could you take their head down spin them around and throw them so there's so much in this movement which is uh, not obvious at the beginning but it's, it doesn't look, it looks like just a dance but actually it's a very powerful movement so you come at me i i do this motion so I catch the back of your head with my left hand draw you into me then I bring my right arm here and I just drag you down onto the ground. You don't want to be inside that circle. It's like a tornado. It whirls you around and splats you down. <laughs> That's an interesting thing about all this work. It's all got circles in it of different sizes. Circles this way, circles that way, and spirals. Okay, so there's lots of it going on. Okay, um, we'll do a bit of Joe work. So if you've got a stick, uh, it doesn't matter what it is, I'm going to use my um, willow tree trunk. <laughs> Um, and we're going to do six. Okay, so 
uh, in front of your left foot. Take it up to your back hand. So using the left hand, push it back up so it comes into your back hand. Take your both arms back, and you're striking 45 degree angle and immediately blocking. Spin the end of it around by your left shoulder, put your left hand at the end, and strike. Okay, so that's movement one. Go up to your back hand, attack, block. When you block now, bring your hands to the middle. You see my hands are together. Try that again. Up the back hand, strike, block. Again. Up the back hand, strike, block. See the way my feet are moving? So my feet are going, first of all, they're coming slightly off the line and striking forward with my weight onto my front knee. Okay, my back leg straight. Okay, as I block, well, I'm going to that same sort of line with my back foot, um, straight, straight across. My back, my front foot needs to follow. Okay, so this is the turning the ankle again. So, one, two, bring the hands together. Spinning around behind you, left hand at the end, strike. The next one we're going to do, so that, we've done that as one movement. Next one is here, pulling the stick back, get the front end of it, push to the left hand back corner, attack, lock to the knee, and finish. Okay, so one is attack, block, so one. Two is strike, avoid, strike. Try again. One. Two, uh, again, itch, knee, I'll do it sideways off, itch, knee, I'll do it facing the other way, itch, knee. Again, same one. Strike 45 degrees to the front, weight forward. Immediately slide to your corner, bring your hands together so the back hand comes to the front hand. Let this stick spin around by your left shoulder. Get the hold of the end of it with your left hand. Strike out. Avoid. Block attack to the knee. And then you can. One. Two. And again, one, two, and then this way, one, two. Okay, same way as you. Oh, I did say, I've said to a couple of people, I think some of you might have picked up on this, we're doing till 10-2 um, rather than a quarter two. So I hope, is that, if that's not okay, obviously leave when you need to leave, but if you can stay till 10 to, it's just that I found quite often in these sessions, there's just a little bit more that we want to add in, which gets pulled away because uh, we don't have the time. So we're sort of trying to do 50 minutes instead of 45. So it might be 48, 49 minutes. Hope that's okay. So let's go. So attack and then block, hit, knee. Now strike, avoid, and strike the knee. And then finish. So one, two, and three. So one, two. I'll do it very slow. One, two. And then three. One. Just a little point about this. A few of you have been practicing for quite a long time now, and some of you have been practicing for 30, 40 years and more, and you've probably done this millions of times like I probably have. That is not the point. It isn't, you, we don't know it. I don't know it. I'm just practicing it. So it's not a thing about building knowledge. It's about practicing. As a result of practicing, I guess you build knowledge. But there's always so much outside of your experience that, you know, don't think, oh, I'm, I know this, or I don't know this. None of us know this. <laughs> we're all learning it, no matter what level we're at. So the people who think they know it, they can sit on the city and watch and get, you know, and don't do IT that ways, uh, or don't practice, whatever it is you practice. It's like yoga, you know, you, you probably every time you do a yoga, yoga practice and you do an uh, asana, you probably go, oh, 
it's not very good. And you look at the teacher, and the teacher's probably inside their head going, no, oh, it's not very good. And then their guru is probably going, that's not very good, <laughs> inside, in their own body. It's the same for all of us, so we're all on the journey. So it's a really good thing about practice, is just to practice. Okay, so let's try a bit more. So, attack them block. Itch. Eat. And sun. Okay, now we're going to carry on to the 21. So now we're striking forward. Bring it around our heads. Right foot comes forward, back foot comes back, and we drop down on our left knee. And then we pull the sit back. So. One. Two. Three, block down. Now strike forward. Attack the head. Sorry, the legs. And move down. Bring it across your body now, remember. Drive up the throat. Block and attack to the body. Strike once. Strike twice. Move forward. Now hands to the front. And slide backwards, keeping the same posture. They go to attack your knee. So you move back with your left leg, block it. Bring above your head and jab out. Okay, let's do that again. So from the beginning, up, strike and block. Now strike, avoid, attack the knee. Now block and attack the body. Now strike to the body and lash out of the legs and drop down on your left knee. Bring it across your body, strike up. Block and attack to your body. Strike once, strike twice. Put your hand to the front, slide back. They go to attack your knee, step that leg out of the way and block. Bring it above your head, jab. Okay, release with your left hand, your back hand, let it spin down. So you get the front end of the stick coming to your left hand. Drive forward, tap into the body. Left elbow comes up, strike to the head. Turn to your right corner, spinning the feet like we've been learning earlier. Right foot, left foot. Okay, now left elbow comes up and strike. Okay, let's try. One. So attack block. Now attack, avoid, block attack. Now knock down. Now strike the body, lash out of the legs, and prepare left knee down. Sit back. Bring it across your body, drive up. Block your attack. Move forward to striking twice. Once, twice. Avoid an attack. Block and attack to the knee. Jab to the face. Release the back hand. Jab to the body. Left elbow comes up, strike the head. Right elbow comes up, turning around, strike the head. Step forward halfway, look over your shoulder, someone's coming at you, you lash out behind you, take your right leg back, and then strike under the neck. So you'll see that movement here, this, which replicates what we've been doing with our hands on our own earlier. So this movement here is, that, is this spinning motion we've just been doing. So, last time. Itch, knee, sun, chi, go. Kiki, lashing out of the legs, drop on the left knee, bring it across your body, drive up to the throat, block and attack your heart, attack once, attack twice, hand to the front, slide back and push back, keeping your weight on your left leg, block and attack the knee, drive to the face, release with the back hand so the stick comes down, drive to the body, left elbow comes up, strike to the head, turn 180 degrees, strike to the head, look forward, now, as you step forward with your left foot, look over your right shoulder, someone's coming at you, latch out behind you, take your right leg back, and then, and then set up. And the last one, you've got this splashing down here, they're coming at you, so you just strike up under their throat, and that finishes them off. Okay, you've got to stop. Yeah, so just three, okay, down. Just, uh, just to finish, we've got about two minutes, so let's use it. Keep flat on the ground. Hands by your head, just a little crunchies, not all well. Let's go. Try to do this, don't watch it. This is to improve the power in your core. Push your shoulders off the mat. Do, do, last 10. Each, they're on purpose, they're fast. Rook, do, match, do, do, on your fronts. That was 50, you see. Then without even thinking about it.
Okay, let's do these. So I'm just here, you're just lifting your arms, or your head, and your feet. Hip, knee, not big. Down, feet, door, door, feet, up, two, two. Hip, knee, down, feet, door, door, feet, up, two, two. Hip, knee, down, feet, door, door, feet, up, two, two. Hip, knee, down, feet, door, door, feet, up, two, two. Last ten. Hip, down, feet, door, door, feet, up. Good. Bring your knees up. Just stretch back a bit. Get your thighs. Get up again. Over to the side. Change. Toes up. Toes up. Feet together, down and up. Feet in line. Rotate the knees. Rotate the other way. Shake out. Okay. Uh, arms over your head. Wrap your fingers. Shake your wrists. Head up and down. Shoulder to shoulder, nice and loose, left to right, nice and gently. Head back gently, shake shoulders forward, shoulders back. Okay, you might want to do a bit more of a warm down after we've finished. It's going to be a stop. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. We're back at uh, five o'clock this afternoon, and um, have a lovely day, everyone. And uh, see you later. And I hope you enjoyed that, Paul. It's uh, when you first do it, you go, oh, crikey, what are they all up to? And do I gradually?